Hello, welcome to FizzQuest. So this is the solution video for CSIR NET December 2019 Part C question number 7. The question is, the positive 0 of the polynomial f of x is equal to x square minus 4 is determined by the using the neutron reference method. Using an in initial guess, x is equal to 1. Let the estimate after 2 iteration be x2. So we need to find out the percentage error modulus of x2 minus 2 divided by 2 into 100. So this is what we need to calculate. So four options are given and we need to choose the correct option. So let's get started. So this question comes from the section mathematical physics and the concept involved here is Newton ref Newton's reference method. So what is this Newton's reference method? This method is an iterative approach to find the approximate root of a given real valued function fx is equal to 0. The technique requires only an initial guess x0 for the calculation. Now before getting into the mathematical formula, you must understand the geometrical presentation of this Newton's Raphson's method. So it will be easier for you to understand the formula. Suppose you have a given function f of x which is a curve like this. Now we can see that at this point fx is equal to 0. So this is the actual root. Now we don't know what is the value here. So as per the Newton's Raphson's method, first we have to start with an initial uh, guess that is the initial value or uh, approximation value that is x0. Let us suppose the initial value x0 is here. So our first step would be first of all draw a line towards the curve fx from x0. <clears throat> so this point, the point at which the line uh, cuts the fx is the point called x0 fx0. Now, how this Newton Raphson's method works is you have to draw a tangent line to this curve fx at fx0, fx0. Now, the point at which the tangent cuts the x axis will be your new approximation or the new approximate root, which is much more closer to the actual root value as compared to the initial guess x0. Now, let us suppose the new approximate root is x1. Now if you want to express x1 mathematically, so here the tangent is a slope of this curve. So the slope of this curve is f prime x uh, f prime x0. So the equation of the tangent line will be y is equal to f prime x0 plus x minus x0 into fx0. Now at x equal to x1, y will be equal to 0. So if you put this in the same equation, it will be at x, uh, it will be x1 is equal to x0 minus f x0 divided by f prime x0. So this is the formula for to calculate the first iteration. Now you can repeat the same procedure for x1. Draw a tangent. Uh, sorry, not draw, don't draw a tangent. Draw a line from x1 towards the curve fx. And now the point it will intersect it, it will be x1, fx1 and then draw a tangent at this point to the curve. So this tangent, the point at which it cuts the x-axis will be the new, uh, new approximate root which is much more closer as compared to the previous root x1. So let us suppose the point is x2. Now again using the same formula, the same procedure, the formula for x2 will be x2 will be equal to x1 minus f of x1 divided by f prime x1. Now the procedure can be repeated many times and each step will move much more closer towards the actual root. So this is how the neutron absence method works where the successive approximation x2, x3 up to xn can be calculated using the general iterative formula which is xn plus 1 is equal to xn minus f of xn divided by f prime xn. So this is the necessary formula here. Now let's move ahead with the question. So in the given question we have a function fx equal to x square minus 4. 
So f prime x will be 2x and the initial guess is given as x0 equal to 1 and the formula we need is this one. So the first iteration will be x1 is equal to x0 minus f of x0 divided by f prime x0. So as per the x0 is already given as 1. So f of x0 that is f of 1 will be equal to 1 square minus 4 is minus 3 and f prime 1 is equal to 2. So putting the values here x1 is will, will be equal to 1 minus minus of 3 by 2 divided by 2 which is equal to 1 plus 3 by 2 which is equal to 5 by 2. So we have got x1. Then the next second iteration is x2 will be equal to x1 minus f of x1 f prime x1. Again x1 we have got 5 by 2. So f prime 5 by f for 5 by 2 is 9 by 4 and f prime 5 by 2 is 5. So putting the values x2 will be equal to 5 by 2 minus 9 by 4 divided by 5 which ultimately comes out as 41 by 20. So this is the second iteration. Now our question is we need to calculate the percentage error that is in the second iteration that is x2 minus 2 divided by 2 modulus into 100. Now here don't be uh, confused with the, the here the representation is actually same here in the question it is in uh, uh, superscript and I have here mentioned in the subscript but the meaning is the same. So here x2 we have calculated. Now putting the value it will be equal to 41 by 20 minus 2 divided by 2 into 100 which will be equal to 1 by 20 divided by 2 into 100 and which is 1 by 40 into 100 which is 2.5 percent. So this the percentage error is 2.5 percent after the second iteration. So now let's check the option. Now if you look at the option you can see that option D is matching with our calculation. The correct answer for this question is option D.